Welcome back to Ferris Sports Update. Time to check in with Bulldog Men's Basketball and joined by head coach Andy Bronkema. Coach, welcome to the show. Hey, it's good to be here, Robert. Obviously a busy week this past week. Uh, your team was off last weekend, but then right back into action. Uh, had an early week game against Lake Superior and then a tough matchup against Purdue Northwest back-to-back uh, -back games this past weekend. Yeah, it's fun to play a lot of games and uh, you know prepare. It's been an interesting year to prepare because you're just preparing for one team um, on the weekend. And usually you're preparing for two. Thursday and then a quick turnaround to Saturday, different teams. So we've had a couple weeks this week where it's been two opponents, but we went from thinking we're going to play Saginaw to canceling the game to preparing for Lake State and um, really battling well up there and, uh, you know, coming up a play short and then, you know, turning around for Purdue Northwest, who's in a similar position as us, around 500 and, and fighting and, uh, you know, just a, r a real hungry team, a good team, the best team that they've had. Um, since they've joined our league and got them the first night and couldn't complete the, the sweep. So uh, one, one more play away, two plays away from going 3-0. and um, Told our guys, you know, we make those plays, yeah, we might feel better, but we're no different of a team. We're not any better or worse as a team. So we, our, our journey is to get as good as we can get um, and see where we finish, you know, in the end in the conference tournament coming up. And, you know, that's, that's still our goal. So go to some of the highlights of this past weekend against Purdue Northwest. Uh, you came back on Friday. Uh, nice to be back at home and uh, certainly uh, had a nice game, one of your better contests of the season. Yep, I, we talked about it before, but that was our best game all year. And, uh, you know, you expect to win your best games, and we did. We really, um, you know, Purdue Northwest is a more talented rebounding team than us, it, and it pains me to say that, you know, because I'm, I'm a rebounder, um, and I like rebounding. I think it. It's a mentality and it gives you a lot of advantages. It covers up a lot of mistakes. So we pounded them on the glass that first game. Very impressive, plus 18. You know, did, didn't even know that plus 18 was possible, but our guys were, were perfect in the rebounding. And then it turned around the next day, they were plus 16 um, and it needed to be a little bit more even and in order for us to pull it out. But it was, that was the story of the weekend, rebounding. Obviously, uh, here in this first game, uh, Walt Kelser had a big game for you, not just in terms of scoring the basketball, but had 10 assists for the Bulldogs. Yeah, it's just, you know, it's it's a maturation process for every individual, and everybody's kind of on their own individual path within the team, and uh, Walt's a scorer, but, not, but now you start to see some of these other things shine through, and uh, he stepped up big and played point guard for us this year a lot, and now Jimmy Scholler's taking some point guard away too, and uh, which is a great thing for Jimmy because you know, as, as a freshman to crack the rotations, one thing, but then to develop another role or another, um, you know, powerful piece to your game, being able to run the point, that's a great thing too. Obviously, uh, this past week, Ben Davidson had a big week for you, 24 points here in this game as he uh, knocks down this shot and uh, really has started to emerge offensively. Yeah, you don't want to say this stuff is bittersweet because, you know, a one and two record, um, it kind of is, you know, but we, we can't lose the storyline of what Ben has done with his development. He's basically taken his tools and, and applied them in a game. And he's done that for three games in a row now, which is uh, extremely encouraging for the future and for the immediate. So proud of Ben um, for kind of having a watershed week. Got an 89 to 75 win uh, on day number one. And Purdue Northwest, one of those opponents that uh, kind of plays a similar style to the way you guys have played over the past few seasons. Definitely the closest team to us as far as what they like to try to do. So. Um, it, it makes it one of those games where it's just a, kind of a system game. You just plug in your system and you go. There's not a lot of, uh, you know, just game scouts or tweaks. That you, and we don't like to do a lot of those anyway, but some games you play certain things certain ways. You just kind of plug this one into the system and try to play harder than the other team and uh, make the plays when they count. And in this second game, they, we did play hard and we made, we made some plays. There was a big momentum call. Um, in the second half th that we were not strong enough to o overcome. Um, I, th I thought we lost the momentum and I don't know if we ever gained it back. And uh, I, that should have uh, maybe a timeout or some better words of wisdom for the team, but that was a big momentum call with a flagrant one where it was accidental contact and tough calls. So, um, but they cr crushed us on the glass and uh, we made a couple silly plays down the stretch, we weren't supposed to foul, and we fouled, and we just lost our mind a little bit. And, you know, that's me. I got to remind them of it, exactly what we want to do. I have to have, be a broken record and make sure that they, you know, I got to check for understanding, make sure that they understand me, and 
I banked that one in. That, that could have been the game right there too. But we had a look at the end. You know, all that sudden, we had a look at the end. Um, it wasn't exactly what we drew up, but we're not going to fault Ben for having the best week of his life. So um, just want to rebound. Minus uh, the rebounding, maybe the final result uh, here. This was one of those games that was a, a fun one to be a part of, both benches into the game, and uh, certainly a lot of intensity here in the gym, minus the fans. Yeah, these like battle dances and battle cheers, and it's like, I don't know about that. We got we got to create our energy, and the other team does too, but I'm, I'm sick of that. So let's get the crowds back in. We'll have normal energy. I like I like that we have energy, but you know we're the only people in the gym, pretty much, the cardboard cutouts, and luckily it was senior weekend. We had, few of our parents got to see their sons play, but I mean, you can you can almost see some of the teams like looking at each other like, I don't know, that's not my favorite, so. Obviously one of those games that uh, means a great deal here. They all do from this point forward as you, as you look at the postseason. Oh man, this it's wild. The postseason's gonna be wild and all the teams make it. And uh, I gotta be honest, I mean, there's gonna be, there's gonna, that's a, that was a great dunk, terrible closeout. Uh, terrible closeout. Sorry, Mike. Um, we'll bust your chops on TV a little bit, but horrible closeout and a big time dunk. And uh, sorry, Vegas. I saw Vegas's brother plays on Grand Valley's team. Exposed him on Twitter and uh, called him out. So Vegas said he'd jump every time if if uh, that's what it takes. But yeah, he got, he got dunked. I never got dunked on ever. Never. Wouldn't admit it. Obviously, going back to the, the GLIAC postseason, uh, you got two games left this weekend on the road against Wayne State, who uh, right now is uh, leading the GLIAC, and uh, certainly a big game uh, as this weekend is uh, for all the teams in the conference. Yeah, you know, I pat myself on the back a little bit. I said they had a great chance to go from worst to first. I really did. I said that out loud quite a few times. I like their roster. I've always liked the way they play, and I had a lot of respect for them. So here they are in first place, and we should be licking our chops, you know, to go down there. They haven't lost there yet at their place. They're in first place. We got a lot to prove. It's going to be, I'm glad we have this challenge in front of us. It, it, it makes you feel alive. It makes you excited for the week of preparation, you know, just dive into the film, dive into the practice plans, the game plans, get better. Um, one thing that we saw this week, Robert, our, our ceiling and our potential grew. And uh, I, I didn't, there was just a lot of room to improve in those games and we were still really close. And uh, it's not like we played perfect and lost. So it's very encouraging going into the stretch run of the season here um, to, to see if something special can happen. Final week of the regular season, then the GLIAC quarterfinals uh, start next Tuesday and uh, still potential uh, for you guys to get a bye uh, here in the first round. Yeah, the, the system is, uh, is mysterious, changing overnight. So I, I don't know um, about all that. I know our challenge ahead of us and um, the rest I'm going to refrain from commenting on. Well, Coach, thanks for the time, and uh, best of luck as you travel to Detroit this weekend. All right, Robert. We'll be back with more Ferris Sports Update right after this.